Hey, what's up guys? Tony here and welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tony. And in this episode, we're going to be tackling New Year's resolutions. So anyways, New Year's resolutions. It's it's a funny thing that a lot of us do when the new year rolls along. And for whatever reason, a lot of people like to, to start fresh, to start anew with the new year. Or actually, it doesn't even have to be a new year. Sometimes it's like a new month or a new week or a new day or whatever. Usually it's new. It's the first of something. So we do like a month. Well, even technically Sunday is the first day of the week, but Mondays, everyone kind of thinks of Mondays is the first day of the week, you know, the work week. So it's Mondays, the first day of the month, the first day of the year. We, that's when we decide that we're going to do something. If we're going to make a change about ourselves, that's when it's going to happen. And there's no day bigger than the first of the year. That's when everyone makes some sort of, not everyone, not everyone, because I'll get into that in a minute. But a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. They'll either want to lose weight. They want to get fit, go to the gym. Those are kind of like the same thing, but a lot of people like going to the gym. They'll like get a gym membership. They'll go to the gym for like two weeks and then they'll stop. Um, some people want to quit smoking. Some people want to, I don't know, read more, you know, make more money. You know, there are, there's a endless list of things that people say that, you know what, by the end of the year, I'm going to be, I'm going to have completed this or I'm going to do that. And that's just sort of something that a lot of people do. And I don't even know where the tradition comes from. Uh, but we all sort of embrace it. Some of us don't. And that's what I want to kind of get into. Um, I don't. I don't make New Year's resolutions normally. Um, just because of the fact that nobody keeps them. I mean, how many times have you actually, and for those of you guys who do make New Year's resolutions, and actually the ones who do make New Year's resolutions and keep them, I'd love to hear from you. I don't know if you can make a video response or if you want to write several responses in the comment section below. But I would be interested in reading about you guys who do keep your New Year's resolutions and, and, and how you do it because I don't know how you do it. Um, the few times that I have made New Year's resolutions to like, you know, the, the obvious ones like I want to lose weight, I want to get fit, you know, I want to work out, you know, that happens for a while and then after a while life sort of takes over and you just forget about it. You know, the other things take precedent over your New Year's resolution. And so I don't usually make them, but this year I'm actually thinking about making one and I'll proclaim it here in this video. My new year's resolution is, um, I just want to, I want to be a little bit happier, you know, and, th and this is going to get a little deep for a second there, you know, I'm going to sort of open up, uh, you know, draw back the curtains and let you guys see a little bit of the real Tony. But the thing is though, is because of all the things that have been going on in my life, the ongoing sickness that I've been having since pretty much summertime. Um, my parents moving to Ohio, you know, my disjointed family here in California, um, it sort of left me in this place where, you know, I feel a little down, you know, and, and I think that's one of the reasons why here I'm getting Tuesdays with Tony out on Thursday is because this week it's kind of come to a head, you know, it's just the new year and, um, and Christmas and all that stuff. It, it's just like, I had this very uneventful, you know, Christmas by normal standards for me, you know, and, and a new year's especially, you know, for new year's, I've just like, I sat at home. You know, which I didn't really mind because I didn't get wasted because I had to work the next day. But there's this emptiness that I've been feeling from, you know, mid, uh, it's like mid-December till now for about a month now just because my parents are gone. You know, I can only go, I can't go and see them. I can talk to them on the phone. So my goal for this year, uh, a resolution that I want to make for myself is just to be happier, you know, and, and, and get out and explore and, and try to reconnect with family members that have drifted apart um, years ago and try to mend old wounds with old family members. So that's my new year's resolution. And we'll see, you know, December 31st, 2013 rolled into 2014, whether or not I was able to keep that promise. You know, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to become a happy person again. This is just one of those like weird, you know, sort of mourning phases when, you know, someone in your family, it's like when someone in your family dies, you know, that emptiness that you feel. Well, I kind of have that same sort of depressed state right now with my parents leaving. Um, because I was pretty close. I'm pretty close to my parents. I really am. But now that they're just a f their phone call away, it's one of those like, well, hmm, you know, I just can't go over to see them. You know, I was this year out of the blue. I don't know. It's just my dad and I decided to start working out together. And so I was there three to four days a week, you know, every week. And then when I started to get sick, that's when it kind of cut down to a couple days a week to once a week. Um, but still, the thing is, is I, I really see my parents at least once a week on average throughout the year. And now I can't see him at all. So uh, I, it's it's always nice to go to your parents' house and, you know, have a nice home-cooked meal while your mom, and instead of, like, you know, microwaving 
Chinese food or something, you know. <laughs> but so that's my news resolution. I want to know if you guys, if you don't make them, I, I want to know why. How come you don't make them? You know, is it the same reason that I just said? Because you, no one ever follows through with them. No one ever does anything about them. Or if they do make them, they forget them. Or are you one of those people that actually make them and then just, you know, forget about them? You know, but you have the fun of making them. You know, it, that, that you get out of, um, you get off on the, um, I guess the excitement of making, like I said, making a new, making amends, you know, not amends, but just sort of starting over uh, at the beginning of the year. So let me know in the comment section. I know this is kind of a short video, but I've got a couple of things going on, especially with this photography thing. Oh, I forgot to mention it. Okay, I'm mentioning it right now before I get going. Uh, Scanner Barkley, uh, Chalk One, and I are doing a 30 day photo challenge. And I forgot to make a video about it, so I guess this is technically it. But what I'll do is I'll leave each one of our Flickr accounts. Uh, in the description and you guys can go check it out. So basically what we're doing is a 30 day challenge So every day has its own specific challenge And so we're up to day 9 now because it's the night as I'm recording this so the 10th when you guys watch it So we're up to day 10 now and you can take a look at our pictures And so we'll be doing videos breaking like talking about how we came about the idea and how we executed the photo the photo and the, and the photography and you know what sort of challenges and what sort of things we like about it and just sort of share our experiences um, and it's something really cool. It's something totally different than just gameplay commentaries, enjoying Battlefield or whatever. You know, this is something that I think a lot of us can get into. And maybe as we get into it and as, as this sort of grows, um, I know Scanner and I had talked about doing like a 30 day um, camera phone challenge, you know, or an Instagram challenge, sort of a same, similar vein, but just with a phone to see what sort of things we could challenge ourselves to come up with just with a mobile phone instead of. You know, camera, Photoshop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, anyways, guys, check out the Flickr. Um, when the videos come out, we're gonna do three videos. You know, every ten days, we're gonna do a video talking about the day one through ten, day eleven through twenty, twenty-one through thirty, and then there's probably do a fourth video, just sort of wrapping up the whole experience because we did one. You know, like what do we expect to get out of it? And the last video would be what did we get out of it? You know, what what, what how do we feel at the end result of this? So take a look at take a look at the photos. Um, Follow us on Twitter if you haven't already. That way you can see when the photos come out. So we don't like bogart them for 10 days and be like, boom, here they are. You know, we show them to, every to everybody and we all look at them and be like, oh man, that's cool. How'd you come up with that? You know, uh, every day. So anyways, guys, uh, I got to get ro running, but thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Sorry it's been short. Sorry for the delay too, because I know there's a bunch of you guys who were like sending me tweets. One one or two people comment commented on my last video like hey where's the two issues with tony video so it's nice to know that people actually want to see this stuff so anyways guys like i said thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and i'll talk to you guys later